Welcome to My Secret Math Tutor. We're going to work on finding the interquartile range for a set of data. Now this is basically the middle 50% range of our data. So in order to find this, first we're going to list out all of our data from lowest to highest. Then we're going to figure out the upper median of all of our numbers and the lower median of all of our numbers and basically subtract the two. Okay? So let's first start off by listing our data. All right, perfect. Now, if I'm going to be talking about the lower half and the upper half, I want to section off my numbers, okay? This looks like I have a total of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 numbers. So I can talk about the lower six numbers and the upper six numbers and find the median for each of these. Okay, let's first do the bottom. So when I go to find the median, of this set of numbers, I have to take the average of 12 and 13. This will give me 12 and a half. Similarly, when I find the average, or the, when I find the median of the upper half, I need to take the average of 22 and 24. That will be 23. Now, some books like to call this Q1 and Q3. That's okay. Uh, we'd find the range by basically taking Q3 and subtracting Q1. All right, so in our example, we're going to take our 23 and subtract from it 12 and a half. This will give us our answer of 10 and a half, and that's the inner quartile range. If you'd like to see some more videos, please visit mysecretmathtutor.com.